Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the middle. So my first lesson, I wanted to include information, opinions, feelings about procrastination, and I didn't. And I, as I thought about it, I, I was going to add it to lesson two, and then the more I thought about it, the more it seemed appropriate that it just has its own whole entire space. Um, so I have lots of feelings about procrastination, and I'll just start at the beginning. So this, when I, when I think about the way that I created this course, it was with the mind that this is something that a stay at home or working at home mom could do. That was who I was. I didn't feel like I had outside support. I didn't feel like I had outside financing. I didn't have access to monies. I didn't, me and my then husband didn't have a shared bank account. So like it was, I felt like there were very few options available to me. Um, even when I first started learning and practicing yoga, I would, I wasn't sure if I'd go to class every week or not. And when I did um, a birthing class, I had actually asked if I could pay payments because I was doing home daycare, but it wasn't, it, you know, my money bought groceries and there wasn't a lot left over. So there were a lot of reasons why I felt like I couldn't do things. There were a lot of things that I felt like were kind of out of my control. And I think that was the biggest part. Like, as far as the house went, you know, I had control there. Like, all the cooking and the cleaning and the schedule. But no, nowhere else. I was sort of trapped. And I don't think that that is unique to my experience as a mom. A stay-at-home mom, specifically. Um, I'm so glad I looked before I laid in all the bird poop. <laughs> but, um... So, in my mind, this thinking about a mom at home with her child, children, pets, whatever the situation, if you're a human and you don't have human children, just a person home all day that sort of feels trapped. That's how I felt. I felt trapped and I felt trapped with loved ones and I didn't feel loving. So, it was a really hard fucking day over and over and over again. But there was some opportunity for me to begin taking back some of that power, some of that control. And in procrastination and not procrastinating on certain things is where I found this magical window and way to give myself more time and more energy and more self-fueling replenishment. So as a, as I'm going to speak about it as, as I know it, like I'm, I was a stay at home mom, you know, dishes, laundry, diapers, meals, meals, so many meals, so many dishes, you know, so much cleaning, cleaning and cleaning and, and doing and tending and tending and tending like nonstop from the time I woke up until the time I went to sleep and then woke me up in the middle of the night to do more, you know? And in that space, I, as I first started learning about all these things that I, I needed to do differently to heal myself, to not want to kill myself. Like, how do I do all these things? Like, I hated to do the dishes. And I was doing a home daycare, so there were a lot of dishes. I hated to do all the things that I had to do. It just felt like I was stuck with all the shit work. You know, it felt like I was underappreciated, definitely under financially, like, um, rewarded for it. Like, no mom is paid to be a mom. Just do your mom shit, you know? But... It was in the beginning with my first understanding, like we stopped talking mean to ourselves. There is absolutely nothing that I do on a daily basis that I will procrastinate on. Let me, so, so the dishes, never procrastinate. Do them even faster than I normally would do. The laundry, stay on top of the laundry. Cleaning and sweeping, the normal things that I do. Never, ever, ever do I procrastinate on those things because those things have to be done every day and it's harder on me when it's a bigger pile. In fact, there has only been a handful of times recently that I've let the dishes sit overnight and when I do, it's like a real decision. Like, I'm leaving them. I'm okay to leave them because I'm going to like, you know, I had been out late and I didn't want to come home and have to do dishes like to seem sort of like punished for socializing. Um, 
even still, I have very limited outside of the house, like socialing time. So there's still some vibrational tending that I have to do there. I never want to seem like I'm being punished for doing something that is part of the package. You know, um, I'm not, I don't have the same life that a, a single person has. Like I do have things I have to do before I can go out. And as soon as I get back home, there's a pile of things waiting for me, you know, and I'd never want to like, the best part about this healing is learning how things can have their own separate lane. Like it, it, it's easy to see with the body manifesting, like food is here, body is here, exercise is here. It turned out that that, that, that recipe, that understanding makes perfect sense in my body. I feel like I have normal body weight and I feel like my relationship with food is healthy and enjoyable. My relationship with exercise is healthy and enjoyable and they don't necessarily have anything to do with each other. You know, like I get it that they all sort of work together, but all of this all sort of works together. So I'm not procrastinating. I don't ever want to give myself more work. I don't ever want to leave. I don't ever want to not show up for me. You know, these are things that I have to do whether I like them or not. I'm going to do them every day. Now, if there's a new project or a new thing that I'm working on, especially something creative, and I'm feeling the urge to procrastinate, I will let that marinate. I want to wait for that now. It's now. You know, I want to wait for it. I can't not do it. I'm so excited. Or I kind of like the little bit of pressure around something creative because it sort of lets it swirl. You get to decide all these things for you. But as far as it goes for procrastination and your day-to-day -day responsibilities, your chores, your tasks, your get-tos slash to-dos, those things we do not procrastinate on. So in, in the frame of this entire workshop, the things are this. We don't procrastinate on the things that we do every day unless we are clearly deciding, you know, if this is a different circumstance and I am planning to do it. I'm not procrastinating it. I'm rearranging it for the better of my whole entire schedule for, the, for the, all the parts of me. If it's business as usual, business as usual because I like to take care of myself. I give myself the time. The first, the first time I had ever noticed this of giving myself time was because I did the dishes, because I didn't procrastinate the dishes. And my then husband at the time had decided to take the kids out for like some random shit, like a snack. So, so, so rarely happened. And not to talk crap, just so rarely happened. He took the kids out the door and in my mind, I was like, what can I do? This is not procrastinating is a way of taking care of ourselves. And it doesn't always feel like that. It doesn't feel like doing the dishes takes care of me, but not dumping on me is how I take care of me. Not, not dropping the ball on me is how I take care of me. <clears throat> so I, I turned around, I didn't have any kids and I thought, well, let me, let me take care of my responsibilities and then I'll find a few minutes to chill. I turned around and the dishes were done. And I know that sounds really simple, but they were already done. And in that moment I was like, oh, I found it. I finally caught the loop. In the beginning, it does feel like it's like so much. It feels like more work when you tell yourself you're not to procrastinate. But at the end of the day, you're already done. You're not dragging it into the night. You're not rolling it into the next day. And it starts to feel, and you start to tell yourself, I show up for me. I take care of me. I'm responsible. I got this. I got this. You know, and it starts to seep into everything. And that is how you will start to give yourself more time. This is how you take control of your schedule. You know what you have to do during the day. You know what things got to get done. Do them as soon as you can in the beginning of the day. And also there's some wording that there's always wording. There's always wording. You know, your get to your, your what is it? To do list. I like to call them things that I get to do. You know, I get to do these things to take care of my family, to take care of my children, to take care of me, to take care of my space. You know, I'm appreciative of these dishes. I'm appreciative of the meals that fed my, my, the humans that I love so much. I'm appreciative of this floor that I'm sweeping. I'm appreciative of all these crumbs that have fallen from all the things, all the fingertips of the, the kitties that I love so much, you know, it is a work. And in the beginning, it's a little, it's pushing the ball up the hill. You got to start where you're pushing the ball up the hill. The first couple weeks, it is the hardest. The, and if you want, you can, spe you can space it out. Like you get to decide. This is a kind of a thing where you take the reins in the most radical ways. You decide when enough is enough. You decide 
<clears throat> is this one of those things that I'm not to procrastinate on? Or is this something that is more creative based? And you will know when you're lying to yourself and when you're not. And the best part is, the more that you do this, the more that you start to show up for yourself in this, I'm going to say radical again, radical way. Because in the beginning, I was doing it so un, I was so undoing it that to start and start caring for myself this way was fucking radical. It was. It was crazy to turn and start like taking my role as a mom so not seriously, but sincerely. Like, no. You know, he gets to go off to the office and be an executive. You know, that's his role. Me minding my business, this is my business. This is my role. I care about my work. You know, I've always said it about other vocations. Like, I don't, I wouldn't want to take a job that I wouldn't want to do. And in this case, this is my job. So that's all I'm going to share about procrastination right now. And... I will see you soon for a lesson too.